Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's always hard to follow uh, people that you've known for practically all your life. But our job this evening is to induct a candidate into the National Auctioneers Hall of Fame. It's long overdue. And this gentleman, uh, his name is Kenny Trout, and he's from Emmett, Idaho. And I had the privilege of knowing Kenny, competing against him in contests, and working with him in the cattle industry. And so when the time come to get Kenny the honor he deserved in his illustrious career as a cattle auctioneer in the West, Cookie Lockhart and I, Western people, well, Cookie, more than me, uh, decided to do a co-hosting. I get to do the talking, and she gets to do the hosting. No, 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 no. But I, I tell you, Kenny Trout uh, was born in the state of Kansas, educated there, married, and moved to Idaho, and never looked back. In his career as a cattle auctioneer, in his day, bar none, was probably the most uh, sought after style of selling all us young auctioneers had. But we had to be careful not to pattern ourselves after one auctioneer. But Kenny uh, got into the business of selling cattle in Idaho and then got into the business of selling purebred cattle all over Canada and Western United States. At this time, I would like to have the Trout family that are here to come on up to the stage, please. And I'm going to turn it over to Cookie Lockhart, who's going to present the inductees family with the 2014 Hall of Fame plaque. Come right up, folks. Kathy, Josh, uh, forgot. You got it. Here we go, Cookie. Thank you, Bob. As the family comes up, oh. <clears throat> okay, Kenny Trout had four children and seven grandchildren. Most of the family continued in the auction career, and they all live in Idaho. Kenny's widow, Roma, was not able to be here this evening. Um, however, there are four members of the family here, and uh, Kathy Trout, a daughter, the only daughter, uh, Kevin Trout is here, and Kevin is a fundraising auctioneer. He was in a class today. And uh, <clears throat> Kevin, uh, that's his specialty, the fundraising. Uh, grandson Jake works for the Angus Association. And grandson Josh um, is here with his girlfriend, Natalie. And Josh works five auctions a week, so he had to get a couple of days off to, just to get here. And we're really, really proud to have him. Uh, he's also entered the IAC contest tomorrow. And uh, Josh and I happened to meet at uh, Nick's, in case you don't know where that is. A lot of good things happen there, don't they, Josh? That's when we first discussed this about three years ago, and we decided we'd get it done. Folks, there are few extremely talented men in the auction business who receive this coveted honor. Kenny Trout was one of those few men. And when I started selling in 1966, everyone idolized Kenny Trout. They all wanted to be like him. And that year, he won the LMA contest. He had the nicest chant I've ever heard in my life, and I think tonight we're hearing a heavenly chant. You just saw him on the video. He was the smoothest and best bed caller there was in the land. But too much, much more than that. He was a dedicated family man and a true treasure to the auction industry. Of course, that's the reason for this tonight. And as he said, cattle don't bid, people bid. People vote and people elect. Ladies and gentlemen, since we are doing this posthumously, I would like all the members of the Hall of Fame to stand up and help me as we induct Kenny Trout. All the members of the Hall of Fame, come on, help me out. Everybody stand up. Folks, talk to these folks, all you new folks, too. These are the men that made this industry what it is, and certainly Kenny Trout was one of them. He deserves to be here. It is my honor to present this plaque to his grandson, Josh, tonight. 
Ken Trout, Emmett, Idaho, in recognition and appreciation of the outstanding contribution to the profession of auctioneering and the National Auctioneers Association as the 2014 Hall of Fame Award recipient. Josh. Nick's. Nick's. <laughs> Say, boy, Nick's. Great things happen to Nick's. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of my family. Oh, excuse me. All right, go ahead. Well, did that, what they no, I'll just do it right now, yeah. Bob. All right. <laughs> you got it. This you is a it. Hall of Fame gold medallion. You get all this stuff for the I'll, family. I'll take <laughs> it. <laughs> What's the deal here? Pack the hardware home. Yeah. <laughs> You'll never be broke. Thank you, Bob. Yes. <laughs> Well, on behalf of myself and uh, of the Trout family, I'd just like to thank all of you for this honor. Uh, we'd just first and foremost like to thank God and His Son, Jesus Christ, for allowing this to happen. Uh, my grandfather's been gone for 20 years, and we didn't think that this was going to happen. But it just shows you how alive that he really is today. And it's when we forget him that they die. And this just goes to show right now that he's not dead. He's still alive, very much alive with the Lord. His legacy lives on. And Nana Trout, back in Idaho, we're bringing it home. We're bringing it home to you.